Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time coming. Subhanallah, it's been a while. So I know I've got a bit of explaining to do. So we're just going to get straight into it, inshallah. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, if you are, if this is the first time you're on my channel, my name is Nadra, if you don't know me already. And this channel is basically about me documenting my homestead journey, um, where the aim of it is to show sisters the process of homesteading in the hopes of motivating other sisters to start their homestead journey and get on the road to living a, a much more healthy and self-sufficient lifestyle inshallah so let's get into the video shall we okay so first of all the last video that i've done was literally about a year ago and I know I said I, you know, I said I was gonna do all of this stuff and post all of these videos once a week and blah blah blah, but you know what? I had a lot going on. Okay, I had a lot going on. So yeah, and things was just life was just lifing at that time, you know. Qadarullah wa ma sha fa'an. First, I want to talk about where I currently am right now. So if you follow me on social media, um, you have me like, you know, like on Instagram, you will know that I am no longer in Egypt. I have officially left and moved from Egypt and I have moved to a new country. And that country is the Gambia, alhamdulillah. So we've been in the Gambia for about, I would say maybe, تقريباً, maybe two months now. We arrived in the Gambia, alhamdulillah. Um, it was all really a part of the plan. So in my other um, videos where I was telling you guys you know that uh, what I want to do I want to have a farm I want to do this I want to do that in the back of my mind I didn't tell you guys then but in the back of my mind I always had it that I was going to do that stuff in the Gambia so I did start some things like growing a few bits and pieces whilst I was still in Egypt but that's just because I couldn't wait I couldn't wait so I started there and alhamdulillah, fast forward now, um, a whole year later, we have arrived in the Gambia and alhamdulillah, I'm able to really, really get to work and get moving, inshallah. So yeah, we arrived in the Gambia. Um, and so to tell you a little bit why I decided to move from Egypt to the Gambia is because I feel like the Gambia, in terms of the goal that I'm trying to, to reach, in terms of farming and so on, the Gambia is able to provide that to me much easier than I felt like Egypt would. Now, the reason why I say that, a lot of things come into play with that, okay? So, with Egypt now, obviously I was living in the city, I was living in Cairo, um and if you know cairo anyone that knows cairo it's not really that kind of it's not really that kind of a place to um do homesteading it's just it's not really you don't even really get houses or like compounds or anything like that it's not it's not common you know the the norm in cairo is to live in an apartment okay so even though i was doing little bits and pieces of what i want what i was doing when i was staying in that apartment in cairo i wasn't able to fully 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 go for it and do what i wanted to do you know and for me i didn't really mind moving to a new country so I know there's going to be that one person that's going to say, yeah, but you could have done it in Egypt. Like, 
you know, I've already heard already. I know I could have done it in Egypt. However, the areas that I would have had to, ha the areas that I would have had to move to in Egypt to be able to do that, um, to do like the whole homestead and stuff, I didn't want to move to those areas because in my personal opinion, it's away from the Jama'a, it's away from the other expats, and I didn't want to do that. Whereas coming to the Gambia, it's the norm to live in a compound, for example, where I am currently living now, whilst being in the Gambia, it's the norm to live there. And um, I can still live in a compound, have the space that I'm, um, I, have, I currently have right now, and still be close to, and still not be isolated and close to everybody else, you know? So um, that's the reason why. Now, I mean, I can go on about this, that my reasons for moving to the Gambia, I can go on about it all day. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I have two Instagram accounts, um, by the way, because I also help people, I also, um, I'm, I'm also an expat coach, a hijra coach, so I help sisters who want to make hijra, make hijra to, you know, the Muslim lands. And um, on that page, I, I've spoken plenty, plenty, I've got into it plenty of times and about the reasons why I've, deci I've, I've personally decided to come to the Gambia, not just for farming, there's many reasons, okay? So if you want to know more about that, then you can go on over there and you can find out. Um, and the ones that understand it, they understand it. The ones that don't understand it, you're just going to have to not understand it, okay? So that's that. So yes, I moved from Egypt and I came to the Gambia to get really get onto my homestead grind you know and alhamdulillah i've done just that i've got stuck in so the place that i'm staying at at the moment is a temporary rented accommodation um the reasons why i've come to the gamba is um to you know because i want to look into buying land i want to look into building and um, look into like you know farming on like a big scale like having like loads of animals and producing my food on a on a big level and just basically become as self-sufficient as possible so i'm currently working towards that at this moment in time i'm at the stage where I am currently renting a temporary accommodation. Um, well, te yeah, basically it's temporary. I'm renting right now a compound. It's nice and big. Um, you know, eventually I will show you guys around. I'll show you it. Um, everything, you know, the whole outside space and everything. Um, maybe on another video or maybe in this video. I'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll edit it in. If not, then I will show you on another video, inshallah. But yeah, so I'm currently, I'm currently staying in a compound. Alhamdulillah, I've got a, a lot of outside space, which, you know, I've got a lot of plans for that. But we'll get into that. We, we, don't worry. We will get into that, inshallah. Um, I've currently got, I've already got chickens. I've currently got some chickens. I've, I've already hatched eggs, so I've got chicks. Um, we've got some more chicks on the way. Um, and we currently have two cats, alhamdulillah, because... Okay, let's get into the cats. Let's get into the cats. I, you know, I don't mind having cats anyway. But for me, it literally became a necessity to get cats. Because number one, if you watched my other video where I said, I was speaking about how they had the place where I'm going to be living. See, that was the first tip. The place where I'm going to be living has lizards. Now, they obviously, they have lizards in Egypt, but it's nothing like in the Gambia. Absolutely not. Not where I was living anyway, in Egypt. Um, so they have lizards here. They have lizards here. I'm looking around to see if I see any on the walls. They have lizards here, okay? So I do not want a lizard in my... I do not want lizards in my house. So I said in my old video, if I see lizards in my home, I will have a cat in my home. And what happened? I went out one day, I came home, and there was a lizard in my kitchen. So yeah, I got two, I didn't get one cat, I got two cats. We got two cats. Um, we actually had three, however, 
One of them died like a few days after we got him. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, to be honest. But that's the thing about this whole homesteading journey. You're gonna have times where when you have animals, you have to get ready for, for, for death because animals are gonna die. You know, we've had already, in the two months that we've been here, we've had a, one of the kittens die. And we've also had one of the chicks after they hatch died, you know? We've also lost one of the chicks, like one of our chicks went missing, like literally disappeared, don't know what happened. We had a rooster that disappeared, don't know what happened to him. So you've got, you've got to be prepared, you have to have thick skin for loss when you have animals. You're gonna, there's going to be losses, you know? So yeah, so we've got two cats, that's the reason why, um, that's the main reason why we've got cats. I also want to get a guard dog, like I said, if you watched my other video, you saw when I spoke about dogs, guard dogs, again, it was a hint, um, because in Egypt, you know, how we, how we live in the, um, in the city, we don't really, we don't really need guard dogs, like, you know, you're living in an apartment, we're not going to have it in, obviously, we're not going to have it in the house, are we? Don't need it. But however, here, when you're, you've got a big house and you're living in a compound, you know, sometimes people might feel like, oh, this is this might be a good place to jump the jump the wall and see what they've got, see what I can steal. Maybe even if they don't enter your home, they might just steal from your garden. You know, I don't want anyone trespassing on my property. So inshallah, we will be getting um we'll be getting our first dog soon first guard dog soon and the reason for that is i'll just put the picture here if, if i'll try i'll try my best to just put the picture right here okay yes that is the reason why i need dogs yes i know you're probably sitting there thinking oh, what is that yes it is what you think it is i need a guard dog do you see the size of it? Yeah, I need a guard dog, as well as, you know, for the other reasons that I mentioned previously. So I need cats, I need a guard dog, because lizards, rat looking things, apparently this is called a dix. Um, it's not exactly a rat, but it, it's kind of like from the rat family or something like that. To me, a rat is a rat, look at it, look at it. Yeah, I don't need that. So that, was actually in our um, in our drain pipe and the and the plumber pulled it out. Okay, so I need a dog because dogs kill those and get rid of those. I don't need that running around my garden. And what the next minute they're gonna think, oh, let me just hop on into their house. No, thank you. So that's what we're doing. I need to. Uh, uh, that's. I think that's probably next on the agenda. Oh, before we get the. Uh, Before we get the dogs, we're going to get goats, inshallah. We're pl the plan is to get some goats because for many reasons, really. For meat, for milk, I want goat milk at my disposal and stuff like that. Um, so we're planning to get some goats. And yeah, the next thing is, yeah, goats and then pro probably the dog. See, look, the animals are starting to surround me. We've got Mr. Rooster over here. I don't know if he's going to come and say hi. We've got Toffee, the cat coming under me right now anywho this is my life now alhamdulillah so yeah so we're gonna get the goats we're gonna get the dogs after that inshallah i've also started planting some seeds and i've got them um so i've i've done cucumber i've done butternut squash i've done watermelons i've done papaya i've done um black eyed pe beans or peas whatever you call them i've done green peas i've planted what else have I planted? Um, I can't remember. But I've planted. I've start. I'm. I'm on the ball. I am on the ball. I've got. I've got this show on the road, inshallah. But like I said, I will definitely be showing you guys now. Like I'm gonna be posting, inshallah, more frequently so that I can show you guys because I know that there's a lot of sisters that are interested in this kind of stuff, this kind of lifestyle, this kind of thing as like, even if it's just a hobby, whatever it is, 
there are so many sisters that have shown interest in this and they they have asked me for the content so you ask me for it i'm gonna give it to you inshallah and like i said it's all in hopes to motivate more sisters to you know adapt to this lifestyle because a lot of people feel like they can't do it I think, yeah, so that was the main um, point of this video, was just to update you guys on where I'm at, what I'm doing right now, um, to bring you, you know, a bit more up to speed, inshallah, and really to just, yeah, give you like a brief on what I'm doing, so the next things that are going to be coming, the next things that I'll be doing, I'll be showing you, I'll be documenting it, like for example, um, we're in the process of getting our chicken coop built, so I'm going to show you guys that, I'm going to show you, you know, different things, I'm going to, like, we're going to get into it, all, all ev everything homestead, we're going to get into it, inshallah, okay, um, so I think that's it for now, Thank you for watching my video please be sure to subscribe be sure to like be sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see what are the things that you would like to see from me in terms of homestead what would you like to see tell me let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to make it happen inshallah and yeah just stay tuned for what's to come assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu